Hello there, folks, and welcome back to the series where I learn to build in creative so that I don't suck at it anymore in survival. And I just happened to find this beautiful, naturally occurring cave looking place. And I thought, you know what we could do? We can make a hobbit hole. What Minecraft world is complete without a lovely little inbuilt hobbit hole? One of the first things I think is important probably when you want to build a structure is probably creating a palette. And so we're going to choose a nice little earthy palette for our lovely little hobbit home. So I think in choosing the hobbit hole palette, we're going to want to go with like mossy vibes, right? So I'm going to grab some mossy stone bricks and some regular stone bricks and have them offset each other. And we may even use some regular stone just for some different texturing, maybe. And we want to add some moss in there. We could even use azalea, right? Because if I use, it depends if I'm using moss on the floor or not. <gasps> what about some flowering azalea? We're making quite a palette here. <laughs> None of it's going to make any sense, but we're going to roll with it. I'm going to start putting some of these blocks down so I don't lose them. I'm pretty happy with that, actually. Yeah. Mm hmm. Let's let's start with a door, you know, let's start with a door and let's just start like figuring out how to make this even remotely work. Right. Do we want it like that? And then and then like this. OK, OK, I don't I don't hate her. She's not she's not hated. We've got a nice little double bit here. And then we'll make the actual door piece like one inward so we can keep the integrity of this circle space, right? And then obviously we would want to do that. And we may even want to add some like slabs up here. I don't hate it so far. It's not looking terrible, babes. What if we had some like... Some, some strong proper oak. I don't know how I feel about it. This is going to be quite difficult. Okay, what about this? And we just we just close that in a little bit. Now, if we're gonna do that, we wanna do it right to the top, babes, is what we wanna do. Like so. Right to the top. And then... Why is this so hard? Oh, this I'm. Why do I suck so bad at this? What if we expand on the? I don't. I don't like it. Okay, but what if we do like this, and like this, and like this, and like this? <laughs> why does it look like Minecraft wooden Mike Wazowski a little bit here? All right, you know what? Let's whack some doors in, shall we? You know what? Maybe we'll bring the dark oak in with this, right? Maybe this is a dark oak kind of job. Actually, no, I don't hate that. I don't hate that. That's not terrible. Okay, hear me out. What if instead of the oak being here, like we initially had, what if we had dark oak and that would bring in those doors a little bit, add a little something to the corners, you know? It just adds a little bit of of something and then what if what are the dark oak trap doors like they kind of look like chocolate it's a little chocolatey what if we do this instead lovely okay i know she's a bit mismatchy but you know not everything has to be perfectly matching at all times every time i quite like that actually yes we may come back to it, okay? I may come back to this because I'm not sold on this little window we've got going on up here. But for now, this is fine. And we can start to work on what the interior might be looking like. Let's have a think about laying down some flooring, right? Let's take our green blocks and um, make a nice textured flooring with some like flowery carpety bits, maybe and um yeah lay some of that down first we're gonna have to actually set out an agreed upon sort of room if you will and and see what we can make of this space okay let's break let's break the walls down before we build them back up 
Okay, so I'm building the walls up and I thought one of the things I could do is add in an upper floor, but build it in. So I created this little, this little hallway that curves around and moves up the stairs into this kind of area, which is where we can have a separate kind of bedroom, right? Um, and what I was thinking of doing is just punching through here to make a window of sorts but I'm not sure how we're going to I guess we can make it look circular from the outside as opposed to the inside okay so now I just need to fill in this little roof section that should not be on display <laughs> and um and then we can start working on polishing the outside before we do the interior it's looking pretty natural that landscape now we just need to figure out a way to make this window look better and again i don't want a middle finger window that's not what we want here today <laughs> so i'm just gonna like tear this this whole area out and see how we feel about something that it's gonna start off looking that big but i promise you it's not gonna stay looking this big but i am just gonna open the whole window out for now so we know the space that we're working with and we kind of want to mimic the circular motion we have over here so let's let's have a look at what we could potentially do hmm. she's a little too square isn't she can i just add like a little bit of is that gonna work Oh my god. Oh, that does that work or am I going crazy? Does that feel a little less square and a little bit more round? Cuz I think we might have just hacked that babes. But I think with with the space that we've got, that might be the best that we can do. Okay, and then we want to we want to add in some windows, right? We want some some panes. Lovely. Okay, so we've got we've got a little hole. We've got our little doorway in our window again. I don't know what to do with this. Like I feel like I should do something really cool with that space. Maybe have glass up there as well. But I don't know how we'd work that. So we're gonna come back to that. That's gonna be fine. Just double check on our upstairs area up here. We've got a lovely looking window, to be honest. And we could even make that prettier with some some things very shortly. Um, and we, we've got a lovely little bedroom area. I'm not at all mad about this. I think it's quite nice, in fact. What we need to do is is shape this area out here. So I'm thinking we have this little welcome area and then you step down into a wider area. So let me just... Okay, so you come in, you've got this little main area, it's the welcome area, you go through there, you go upstairs to the bedroom, you take a step down, you've got this this sort of welcome area, this, this main area, and then through here maybe you've got like a kitchen or something, and we're kind of keeping a kind of rounded edge to the rooms is, is the plan. So let me just whack um, a couple of these bad boys down just so we can see. And now we've got our, our main sort of sections, we can start working on what the walls will be made out of, um, what the floor will be made out of, that is A-OK. -okay. Do I, right, do, now here's the question, somewhere in these hills, do I want to add in a chimney? Because I feel like the answer is of course yes, and we can add it right here, babes. <laughs> I don't know why I want a fireplace all the time. Fireplaces just strike me as being real cozy. And you know what? We want that cozy. But before we do any of that, it really is time that we change out these walls and these floors for something that is not just stone and dirt. This area is gonna, we're gonna have a little azalea rug, essentially. Like, cause it doesn't have to be perfectly square. We could have it be kind of like this. And maybe we kind of phase that out a little bit with some some moss blocks. I'm thinking a solid border around here of, of the dark oak planks, okay? You'll see in just like a hot second. We're just with some nice dark oak. Ooh, it doesn't match. Ooh, it doesn't match and I can't deal with it. We may have to bring it back one. No, because then it won't match that side either. So now it's like we've got a little cozy little rug going. And I am going to start working on building up some of these walls that we want. 
So the main kind of point we want for the walls is obviously we're going to want to bring that mossiness in. I'm kind of going for like almost like a kind of a, a dilapidated look. Oh, actually, you know, can I just do that? Is that going to work? Is that going to give me the effect that I kind of want there? It is. And I can do a similar thing over here, can't I? We just want to keep that border intact. So let's do one of those and like a little one of those. And that's perfect. And then I can just have like a pillar of it here. And no one need know. Let's go with that. Okay, I'm just I'm just trying to expand <laughs> this. I just it needs to like line up. It doesn't have to be perfectly aligned, you know, but I do I I do require it to to line up like a little bit personally. Okay, I'm going to finish making the walls up in this kind of general way. What I might do is wherever the walls kind of pop off in the middle, like in these little pillars, we might make those into wood instead. And we just have to choose between these two woods. So let's just do this. I feel like the dark oak brings it in better. So we're going to we're going to stick with the dark oak for now. I feel like it it feels a little bit more hobbity, a little bit more druids grovey with like the the inclusions of just the the wood. I finished up with the walls in the downstairs area. Obviously the ceiling I need to do and I can't decide if I want to make that oak or dark oak but I think definitely a wood because it's, it is very stony in here right now obviously it's less stony in here and I, I quite like I really like how this turned out so far but um well at least the walls down here are done we got to do the walls upstairs finish the floors and finish the ceilings and then we'll be all ready for some interior decor and then polishing off the outside Actually, what I think I'm going to do is make the floor wood and do the ceiling in the greens and have a kind of lush cave vibe uh, in inside with some of the glowberries hanging down and things like that. We can even do some hanging pots and some pots around here because, you know, as we know, hobbits share a love of things that grow. So let me put some flooring down. Here's what I'm thinking. Let's get some stairs here, right, of the dark oak variety. So we do that, yeah. And then what I might do here, instead of continuing with this, just to add some separation between the rooms, is I'm thinking some of the stripped, the stripped dark oak is, is potentially the vibe here. So let me have a look at some of that. Ooh, okay. I like the way this has turned out with the separation here. I'm going to do a similar thing over here and then we'll fill in the ceiling and the upstairs. Over here, I've opted for this kind of effect because I think it gives the kind of kitchen tile vibe without it being the stark kind of black and white contrast and fits in with our theme quite nicely without being over the top. Let me put in the ceiling so I can add in some lights and uh, we'll see how that looks with all of the glow berry vines that we want to add some of the hanging pots that i'm thinking of we're gonna go with the the greens so again i must come out here to my palette and select the greens that i can hang from the ceiling so we've got that we've got this uh, we've already got that one and we'll grab this one too i think we're gonna we're gonna do a, a sort of a curved around effect if i can help it just to create a kind of more cavernous experience so i'm just gonna fill in the ceiling with these green blocks and we'll see how it looks hopefully not too patchworky i actually think that looks pretty cute so far i know it still looks a little patchworky but i don't think it looks terrible i'm gonna finish up with the rest of the ceiling doing this kind of vibe and then we will start adding in some of the finishing touches. So I'm thinking we kind of want to intersperse these quite randomly and create almost like a like a natural living vibe. I was thinking we could add some lichen in some odd places just to, just to add just a little bit of texturing here. Give it the most natural vibe we could possibly come up with. And then I was thinking the lights could hang at different kind of lengths, right? So... I quite like them on these four corners and we may just want to extend the any of the vines out a little bit and maybe we have one like right here as well and this one can come down a little lower because we want to create the different levels yeah let's bring this one down a little further as well 
like so. Already I'm loving it and obviously we're going to want some bone meal if we want those to have any glow berries on them. So let's just grab some of that as well. And I think that looks rather magical, if I do say so myself. I think that's adorable. Um, and we just want to continue those good vibes along in all the other ceiling places. So let's let's do that. Maybe we have a couple little flower beds here or something, right? So let me grab a little bit of dirt. Beautiful. Maybe we have a spore blossom. Ah. Oh. Immaculate, immaculate vibes, I think. I think we're doing really well. Let's continue the good vibes along the rest of the ceiling, add in some more of the glow berries, lichen, and the lanterns with chains, and see how this is looking. I am liking the way this is turning out, babes. <laughs> I'm not sorry for that one. Can I, can I move in here in real? How do I download myself into a game? Because I would look at that. And then I added a little corner here and I'm using some of the lichen to stop these growing so fast uh, or any further and then using string uh, if I can't use the lichen. So I put that there and then I'll add like a little bit of lichen um, going up the stairs maybe as it goes just to just to add whimsy and magic into the into the space. This this lights up the space quite beautifully I think. I think we've really really outdone ourselves from the last house so far again the hardest part is going to come in with the decoration and that will be for another day all that's left to do is kind of decorate and finish decorating the outside space what's around us first thing we've got to do is cover up any of these stone spaces or peeking out spaces a little bit uh, i don't mind the green as much but it has to be a bit more controlled so let's get this covered up with some lovely lovely grass i think the next thing what i really want to do is fix this this little window here so let me just have a little think about what i could do maybe we could do something with some trapdoors here make it look almost like a window but not actually that's not terrible i don't hate that let me just close the doors a second i actually quite like that i might be a little busy with the doors but i don't hate it i kind of wish there was like a little beam of wood separating them so what if we did just like a twofer up there and then we we did this and this i think i prefer that of the two so i think i'll leave it at that and then we probably want just like a little bit of pathing. Paths looking good. We got some, some different layers here. I'm feeling really good about this. Now we just want to kind of beautify the outside. And I think the best way we're going to be able to do that is with moss. I think um, adding some moss just to diversify the green and then adding in some plants with like planters and pots. And that's really going to make it pop. And then we're going to want some foliage, some bushes, some natural leaves. So let's go ahead and grab some of those. Obviously, we want some of the flowering azalea because we are utilizing it. I kind of want to bring it down, kind of. Like that. Almost like it's, it's dripping. What if we do that? Like so. Okay, I think the bushes are looking quite good right now. Oh, I'm really pleased with this. I just want to add in a little bit more in the way of flowers with like the petals and stuff. And maybe we adorn our little pathway here with some of these petals. Um, and we can like make some of them a little bit, a little bit thicker. Give them the thickness. I'm so proud of myself. I'm doing so well learning to build. Look at this. I would be so proud of this to live in this. Maybe something could be done over here is what I'm thinking. You could have almost like a little little farm area. So maybe you've got a little bit of wheat there. We Maybe we put some fences around it. Maybe you utilize the fences to add a couple of lanterns over here to add that atmosphere in. And this up here is maybe perhaps where you'd have like a little picnic blanket of some kind with the flowers around. That would be quite cute. So maybe that's what we do. That's just, that's just, just for some finishing touches. And then you could quite happily just have like some, just some regular candles. 
just just chill in there some of these flowering petals and i think you just put some of the flowering petals near any of these these flowering kind of shrubs that you'd have around right i think this turned out beautifully i think this turned out really really beautifully i think i did really well for someone who's not quite used to building i'm really proud of how this turned out so thank you so much for watching. If you have any ideas on how I could have improved the structure of this, if there's anything I could do with the space above the door, in the circular hobbit door, or any way you would improve the exterior or the interior, please do let me know. I am so open to suggestion and learning. That's all the purpose of this is for. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fabulous time zone. You take good care of yourselves, stay fed, watered and rested. Know that you're loved because I love you. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye lovelies!